going to talk about the clarinet and how it works. A clarinet is a woodwind instrument. Mine is a cheap one made out of plastic, but good ones are made out of wood, and any instrument made out of wood that you blow into, like an oboe, a bassoon, or a clarinet, is a woodwind. Flutes are also woodwind instruments, but we still call them woodwinds because they used to be made out of wood, even though now they're made out of silver and metal. So, all sound needs vibration. Our voices, you could hold your hands near your vocal cords and you'll feel them vibrate when you sing or speak. On the piano, inside the piano, strings vibrate. You may want to check out my other video about how a piano works to see all about that. Um, and violins, guitars, also the strings vibrate. But air is what vibrates on a woodwind instrument like the clarinet. The other thing that vibrates on the clarinet is something called a reed. And a reed is made out of wood and it needs to be a little damp for it to vibrate. So I'm going to lick it, carefully put it back. This takes a little doing. So let's see if I can get this on the first time. There we go. You can hum to yourselves as I get this ready for you. And you know, I am not a clarinetist. I'm a pianist. So I do not play the clarinet. But if you cross your fingers, think good thoughts, maybe I'll be able to get a couple of notes out for you now. Let's try. <laughs> hear two pitches go back and forth? Well, that's because I was opening and closing this hole in the back. And when you open or close the holes on the clarinet, that's what changes the pitch. The more holes that are closed, the more, the harder it is for the air to come through and vibrate, so the lower the pitch. The fewer holes that are open, the higher the pitch. So I'm going to turn this way and open and close the hole in the back so you can see and hear at the same time. Do you hear how the pitch got a little higher every time I opened the hole in the back? Now, if you like, you could try to make your own woodwind instrument at home. Take a straw and you have to kind of, I kind of bite on the top of it to get that a little close together. And then, after you do that, you're going to snip so it kind of comes to a point. All right, so it comes to, comes to a point there, leave the bottom open. And then you can bite it so that the top gets to be a little bit together, and then you're going to blow pretty hard with your lips very, very tight and firm. making your straw woodwind instrument. See you next time.